Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Tenkaichi Chapter 17. It's been a long wait for this chapter. I know a lot of people did not like the last chapter, even though I thought it was pretty good. Some people don't like low diffs. So sad. But you're gonna get some in a bracket tournament. It's just bound to happen. I, I assume they're more so upset that it was William getting low diffed by Yagyu, who is seemingly a very plot important character. I guess William is just unlucky, you know? So sad. Anyway, time for us to see how the battle between Kamizumi and Hinochoko is going to get started. The Sword Saint versus the God of Might in the flesh. Let's find out. The winner of Tenkaichi Round 1, Match 3, representing the Oda Clan, Yagyu Munanori. The loser perishes. No fucking shit. Uh, the Sword Saint versus the Living God of Might. Mmm, what a feast for the eyes that was. Perpetual torment. Truly nightmarish. So this is Yagyu Munanori's style. Nshun, did you feel a tad bit of fear there as well? Hehe, <laughs> on contraire, master. I'm n now I'm stoked to see which one's got more talent. The Hozoin or Yagyu Shinkage Ryu? Hmm. You're going to die. <laughs> this stupid child is going to die. In the end, you delivered a crushing defeat, hmm? This is but one victory. The first step toward an era of peace through your blade and my bloodline. Indeed. However, it was hard fought in a sense. I have much more that I need to train. Hard fought? Don't give me that crap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This was a low diff. You shut the fuck up. Oh, I got hit a few times. Truly a hard fought battle. Oh, now this is a surprise. Who is this saying this, though? I never thought you the type to come and watch this sort of thing, Takwan. Oh, yeah, this guy did get introduced, like, last chapter or the chapter before. I know you could have ended that match in one strike if you wanted to, Mu Chan. So, why all the slicing and dicing? Don't let the demon festering in your mind take over, or one day it'll take over you. <laughs> you don't understand. It already has. If it meant mastering the sword, I would gladly become a demon. Oh, but then he just fucking bonks Yagyu on the head. He doesn't give a shit. Oh. Idiot. And lose one of my, my friends in the process? Like hell, I'd let that stand. Good grief. It's ever so difficult to avoid your fist when it doesn't have any killing intent. Oh, is the peerless Munanori showing a hint of soreness? Uh-oh, I feel I'm about to be taken over by the demon in my anger. Man, you know I hate it when you joke like that. Yagyu Munanori the Reaper. Yeah, this guy is friends? Yagyu is physically capable of being friends with people? With his victory and his impression strongly left, the battle at sea ended, and so onward to the next one. The ship headed for land, with the next battleground as its course. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Yagyu is physically capable of being friends with another human being. That's kind of insane. I find that mildly hard to believe. Though, maybe it's a little more like this guy insists on being friends with Yagyu, and Yagyu's like, well... Shit, can't do anything about that. Ozaka Castle. Are we gonna fight on the rooftops or something? Ooh, 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 ooh. How many years has it been since we could talk face to face, boss? Uh. Hmm. I was a little taken aback by this Tenkaichi the big boss planned out at first, I'll tell you what. But what a pleasant little feast it's turned out to be. Elder Hashiba Hideyoshi. Oh ho, what's the matter, boss? You don't seem like you're having very much fun, are you? Tokichiro, there's no man I despise in this world more than you. And I'll make certain this debt I've incurred from your lapdog is paid back to you in full. Oh ho 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 ho. Glad to see you haven't changed. Still going strong, eh, Onishibata? I'm pretty sure this is the guy whose face got fucking obliterated in the first chapter. But it's not like we're going straight for each other's throats. Why don't we get along as fellow retainers of the Oda clan? 
back, you filthy ape. Ooh, those are strong words. Hashiba, Shibata. Hmm? The stage has been set for your battle. Ooh, about time it was. Furthermore, per Nobunaga's orders, we've prepared a stage suitable for this match. Ooh, and just what might that be? I shall see for myself with my own eye. Hmm? Where exactly Kamizumi and I will have our victory marked. Oh, that mask is cool. I like it. I dig it. I do believe that this guy and Kamizumi will probably win. But who knows? Because I don't know. Oh, fuck, it's a cage match. Oh, Jesus. After a battle atop rough seas, we return once again to Uzaka Castle. Tenkaichi round one, match four. The scene for this battle is the Twin Dragon Cage. Oh, shit. It's a cage this time? Who? One arena after another. Oh, that's quite eccentric. Hmm? Looks awfully cramped in there. Oh, I'd love to give it a try. It's you! Ito... Itosai. <laughs> Ito Ryu. Ito Itosai. I'm super, ever since learning about this dude, like how he's the one responsible for creating what's basically the sword fighting style, I can't fucking wait to see this guy go up. I'm not fond of being spoiled on my opponents before I fight them, but this is the exception. Yeah, wouldn't you, wouldn't you be going next? I think his match is either next or it's the one after the next one. Hmm. Ito Sai, that bastard. Hmm. And it seems like there's lots of other people, too. Hmm? The Hozoin from before, as well as Togo and Olga Sawara. And Haya Shizaki. And over there. Ah! Cut yanking on my ear, will ya? Quiet, boy. This is what your whining gets you. I said I'm fine, damn it. I'm starting to get the hang of dual wielding now. Ooh, that's my boy, a true genius. But... Huh, ow! Foolish son, if you wish to be the strongest in the land, this fight is a must-see. And you think the mood whiplash is gonna help? You're out of control. Dear, oh dear. So you're here with your daddy, boy? It's like you've got any right to talk, lady. Kotaro doesn't hate your cockiness. But keep in mind, this thing is Kotaro's pet, not Kotaro's daddy. <laughs> Kotaro's going to get a taste of this little old man. They all hail as the sword saint. So everyone, everyone's come around to see what the fuck the sword saint can do. Because remember, the sword saint is regarded as like the best swordsman in the country. He's the best. I think Musashi ends up becoming sword saint later, doesn't he? Also, yeah, cool to see... Uh, Musashi and Fuman are acting since uh, they're going to be fighting in the next round of the tournament. And now, allow me to introduce the fighters. The Sword Saint really is high profile, huh? And I'm totally fucking pumped! On the east side, representing the Shibata clan, enter. Door is open. We got dudes playing music for his entrance. His very existence is godly is both the founder of Shinkage Ryu and the great grand master of Yagyu Munanori and Hozoin Inshin. Oh, is he really responsible for like both of these styles somehow? Without this man, swordsmanship wouldn't have a history to tell. And right here, right now, he'll carve out a new history. Oh, kissing the titty is very nice. The Sword Saint. Kamizumi Ise no Kami no buta, Nobutsuna. He looks like an invalid. I'm sure this man is going to be insane. Oh, me oh my, you've got quite the humongous honkers. <laughs> oh, this guy is fantastic. I love Kamizumi. Oh dear, how crude. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh, if Kamizumi ever got to fighting Fuma. Oh, Jesus. Hang on a sec. He's sleeping, isn't he? Oh, is he? He just sleeps all the time? He's not actually, like, incapable of walking? Well, obviously he's not incapable of walking, but I figure he's fucking tired a lot. <sighs> this is just like your entrance, Musashi. 
hell are you laughing for? What's a honker? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, this chapter is really good thus far. Worry not, young man. Huh? Bring any ordinary martial artist before him, and he'll soundly defeat them even in his sleep. Are you telling me that Kamizumi is a sleeping fighter? If you wish to see how Sensei fights while awake, however, Kaishiryu Marume Kurando, I ask that you bring him one who is truly strong. Oh, you've got more than I expected. What? Marume Kurando. I've heard he's a master in his own right. And for him to put forth such a bold claim means I can only hope this guy's not just some pervy old coot, can't I? So, oh fuck, if he wakes up when uh, Chobo, or whatever his name is, comes out, I'm thinking that if Kamiozumi makes it to the next round, whoever he's fighting won't make him wake up, and he'll fight asleep somehow. Or Kamiozumi's just gonna fight asleep now. He's gonna start off fighting asleep. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have come after all. Now I wanna fight. And I hate being forced to wait. You're a monstrous old man. Perhaps in this match we'll be able to see your true form? This is getting good. I'm not sure if he's the sword saint or the sword slut, but he's the god of the sword, that's for sure. Only one of an extraordinarily an extraordinary physique gifted to him by the gods would be worthy to face him. In other words, him. The sword slut. What the fuck is- oh, This is- This is madness. This is insane. On the west side, representing the Hashiba clan. Enter. Does the strongest man in the world wield any weapons? Is the strongest man in the world clad in any armor? Nay. Those who are truly mighty have no need for weapons or protection. Yes. Just like this man, the unrivaled, undefeated Rikishi, the god of might in the flesh, Hino Choko. I have to admit, that is a very awesome, that is a really fucking cool sumo wrestler design. I gotta hand it to you. Oni masks, always a plus. Nice. I, Hideyoshi, and Choko will give our all to liven up the festivities. Oh, he's huge. Uh, go talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Hino. Yeah, he's the one that fucked your whole face up. Step, Kamizumi, instantly awake, eyes looking demonic. Eh, uh, my turn already. Wakey, wakey, sensei. Good morning, sir. Hmm, good morning, girls. Huh? He just snapped right awake. Oh. Your hand, sensei. Yes, yes. Ho, ho. So you're my playmate, eh, my boy? Hmm. You look like a rather nice kid. By the way, are you human, my boy? Wow, what a fucking... Wow, we thought the difference between Toda and Fuma was big. Holy fuck. I was already well aware, but the difference in their stature is staggering. Ooh, no matter how weak he may seem... Give it every last bit you've got, Choco. <sighs> Marume, can Kamizumi win against that thing? Sensei could not possibly lose. However, this is the first time I've ever seen him awaken from having a man simply stand before him. So you're Choco Chan. Then let's go play in that metal basket there. Oh, finally you looked at me. Kill. Mm-hmm. That's the way, my boy. Bloodlust is the only language they need. Hmm. Invest in Hino coin. No Mino Sukune the second. I don't know. I don't know if I want to invest in Hino coin. Sumo may be strong, but old anime swordsmen are stronger. Defeated only by big buff, big tittied anime women. You know, that, that, that's one of the only powers that I think surpasses old anime men, if I'm being frank. So I don't know. I'm betting on Kamizumi. And now I really want to see him fight some of these other people. I'd also like for, uh, what's-his-half-face now 
to uh, get his revenge. That would be good. Well, anyway, that was a pretty good chapter. Well worth the wait, if you ask me. And I suppose the Raws for the next chapter are already out, like, right now. I guess we'll see how long it takes for us to get the next chapter translated. It'll probably be, like, another month. So with that, that's all for this month's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Tenkaichi chapter reactions whenever the hell the new chapters get translated. If you enjoy discussing Tenkaichi with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce in this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.